Before we dive into today's exciting topic, please remember to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Let's keep the knowledge flowing. Today we're tackling the trifecta of personal success, your brand, your audience and your revenue. In our digital age, these three elements are crucial for anyone seeking to carve out their own path. They are the pillars of modern entrepreneurship. Now let's embark on this journey of personal growth and success together. First things first, understanding what a personal brand is and its power is our primary step. Picture this, you're at a networking event and someone asks, what do you do? Now, instead of just stating your job title, you're able to articulate your purpose, your passion, and how that makes a difference in the world. That's the power of a personal brand. So what is personal branding? At its core, it's about how you present yourself to the world. It's the unique combination of your skills, experience, and personality that you want the world to see. It's about who you are, what you do, and how you do it. Now, you might be wondering, why is personal branding important? Well, in today's digital age, everyone has a brand, whether they know it or not. And for entrepreneurs, a strong personal brand can be a game changer. It can set you apart from the competition, establish you as an expert in your field, and attract the right kind of clients or customers who resonate with your brand's values and mission. Let's look at some examples of successful personal brands. Take Elon Musk, for example. His personal brand is intertwined with his businesses, but it extends beyond that. He's known for his vision of the future, his risk-taking, and his innovative thinking. Or consider Oprah Winfrey. Her brand is built on empathy, empowerment, and authenticity. These individuals aren't just known for their businesses, they're known for who they are as people. But remember, personal branding isn't about creating a false image. It's about being genuine, being consistent, and showcasing your unique value proposition. It's about building a reputation that opens doors for you. So, as we delve deeper into the process of building your personal brand, keep this in mind. Your personal brand is your legacy. It's what people will remember about you long after you've left the room. It's what will attract opportunities and people to you. Remember, your personal brand is about showcasing who you are, your values, and what you bring to the table. Now that we know what personal branding is, the next step is to build it. The first step in building your personal brand is self-assessment. This involves taking a good, hard look at yourself, identifying your strengths, weaknesses, passions, and values. It's about understanding who you are, what you want to achieve, and how you want to be perceived. Next, you need to define your uniqueness. What sets you apart from others in your field? This could be a unique skill, a different approach, or a novel perspective. Remember, the key here is authenticity. Your personal brand should be a true reflection of who you are, not a persona you put on for the world to see. Once you've defined your uniqueness, it's time to articulate it in a personal brand statement. Think of this as your elevator pitch, a brief, compelling statement that encapsulates who you are, what you do, and why it matters. This statement should be clear, concise, and compelling, capturing the essence of your personal brand in a way that resonates with your target audience. Finally, you need to communicate your personal brand consistently. This means living your brand in everything you do, from the way you interact with others to the content you share online. It also means being consistent in how you present yourself, both online and offline. This consistency helps to build trust, credibility, and recognition, all key elements of a strong personal brand. But remember, building a personal brand isn't a one-time thing. It's an ongoing process that requires regular reflection, adjustment, and refinement. It's about continually aligning your personal brand with your evolving goals, values, and experiences. So where do you start? Start with self-assessment. Take some time to really get to know yourself, then define your uniqueness, craft your personal brand statement, and start living your brand. And above all, be patient. Building a strong personal brand takes time and consistency, but the rewards are well worth it. An amazing personal brand is nothing without an audience to appreciate it. So how do you grow that audience? It's a four-step dance and we're about to learn the moves. Firstly, you need to know your target audience. Imagine them as a single person. What are they like? What do they want? What keeps them awake at night? Once you have a clear picture of who they are, you can create content that speaks directly to them. Remember, your target audience is not everyone. 
It's the group of people who find value in what you offer. Secondly, engage with your audience. This isn't a monologue, it's a conversation. Reply to comments, ask for feedback, start discussions. Show them that you're not just a brand, you're a person. When you engage with your audience, you're not just building followers. You're building relationships. Thirdly, provide valuable content. This is your currency in the world of personal branding. Your content should educate, inspire or entertain. And it should always, always offer value. This value is what makes people come back for more. It's what turns casual viewers into loyal followers. Lastly, use social media effectively. It's not about being on every platform, it's about being where your audience is. And it's not about shouting into the void, it's about using those platforms to further the conversation, to provide more value and to build those relationships. Social media is your stage, so make sure you're using it to its full potential. This dance may seem complicated, but it's really not. It's about knowing who your audience is, engaging with them, providing value and using social media effectively. It's about showing up day after day and building those relationships. Because an audience isn't just a number, it's a community. And when you have a community behind you, well, that's when the magic happens. Growing an engaged audience is the key to unlocking the power of your personal brand. With a strong personal brand and an engaged audience, the next step is to increase your revenue. Now that you've built a reputation and cultivated an audience, it's time to start thinking about how you can turn that hard work into a steady income stream. The beauty of a personal brand is that it opens up a plethora of ways to monetize your efforts. Firstly, consider selling products or services. If you're a fitness guru, perhaps you could write an ebook about your unique training techniques or sell personalized workout plans. If you're a chef, Maybe you could sell your own line of cooking utensils or offer online cooking classes. The key here is to align your offerings with your brand and your audience's interests. Secondly, consider affiliate marketing. This involves promoting a product or service and earning a commission for every sale made through your referral. This is a great way to earn passive income, but remember, it's crucial to only promote products or services that you genuinely believe in and that resonate with your audience. Thirdly, sponsorships and paid promotions could be a lucrative avenue. Companies are always on the lookout for influencers and thought leaders to endorse their products or services. If your personal brand aligns with a company's target demographic, they might be willing to pay you to promote their brand. However, it's essential to maintain your integrity and only agree to sponsorships that feel authentic to you and your brand. Lastly, don't overlook the power of offering premium content. This could be in the form of a subscription service, online courses or exclusive content available only to paying members. People are often willing to pay for high quality, unique content that they can't find anywhere else. But remember, the goal is not just to make money, but to provide value that your audience is willing to pay for. If your audience feels like they're getting more than they're paying for, they're more likely to continue supporting you. So always strive to over deliver and keep your audience's needs at the forefront of your monetization strategies. Remember, the goal is not just to make money, but to provide value that your audience is willing to pay for. That's a wrap on how to grow your personal brand, audience and revenue. Let's have a quick recap of what we've covered today. Personal branding is not just about creating a logo or a catchy tagline. It's about defining who you are, what you stand for, and what makes you unique. It's about creating a consistent, impactful image that resonates with your target audience. Next, we discussed how to build your personal brand. Remember, consistency is key here. From your social media posts to your interactions with customers, each interaction is an opportunity to reinforce your brand. We then moved on to growing your audience. We talked about the importance of understanding your audience, delivering valuable content and engaging with them on a regular basis. This is crucial in turning your one-time visitors into loyal followers. Lastly, we delved into increasing your revenue. We highlighted the significance of diversifying your income streams and monetizing your skills and knowledge. Whether it's through selling products, offering services or affiliate marketing, there are numerous ways to capitalize on your personal brand. Remember, your personal brand, audience and revenue are all interconnected. Your brand attracts your audience and your audience generates your revenue. So focus on strengthening each of these elements and you'll be well on your way to success. 
Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Share it with someone who might benefit from this information. Here's to your success.